there, this is Crystal from Killens Pond Nature Center. I am a naturalist here, and today we'll be talking about our corn snake um, that we have here. Um, this is one of our program animals, so we do use this snake primarily just for programming with school groups or private events. She is not on display for the public to see, um, but if you come to one of our events or programs, we might have her out when we're dealing or talking about wetlands or the environment. So corn snakes are pretty cool. They are a native species to the state of Delaware. Their numbers are in decline due to things like habitat loss and poison, um, but they are still around. They're not very common, but you might see one here or there. They get their name from the pattern under their belly, which kind of looks a little bit like um, the Indian corn that you see around Halloween in the fall. The other reason why they have their name is because they are highly associated with mice. Um, and of course, in Delaware, we have a lot of cornfields uh, and you'll probably see a lot of mice hanging around the cornfields. And if there's a lot of mice, there's a lot of snakes. And this snake in particular loves mice and feeds primarily on mice. So that's another reason why they got their name. As you can see, the pattern and the coloration is very good for camouflage, but not necessarily in fields like crops. More so for forest, um, particularly pine forest. So uh, these guys will blend in really well with the leaf litter and the pine needles that you find on the forest floor. Um, so that's why their habitat is kind of disappearing because we don't have a lot of forest left in Delaware. If you do see these snakes, you're okay, it is non-venomous. They're not gonna hurt you. Just give it a respectful distance, just like you would with any other wild animal. A lot of times people will mistake these as a copperhead or a water moccasin, what have you, but they are not really anywhere close to what a copperhead looks like. They have different colors. They're more of a red brick color, whereas a copperhead is more of a cream color with kind of Hershey kisses along the side. This one has more of a blotchy square patterns on their back um, and a different kind of shaped head as well. It's more of a spear shape, whereas a copper head is more of an arrow shaped. So like I said, these guys primarily eat mice. Um, here at the Nature Center, we do feed mice. They are frozen thawed, um, and then we give them in a separate container so that we don't uh, encourage a, an aggressive behavior by feeding them in their tank. If you can see, they are using her, her tongue here to sense uh, what's going on around here, her. So they do have vision, but it's not as good as say humans. So what they use primarily for sensing around them is their tongue and their sense of smell. They have a specific organ on the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. And what they do is they send that tongue out into the air, just like a big piece of sticky tape and they kind of fling it around and grab any kind of particles that are floating in the air and they bring it back into their mouth and they use that to kind of sense what's going on around them. They can tell if a mouse has gone by or if that mouse is sick. They can tell if there's a predator in the area that they have to look out for and they can tell if other snakes have been around. So they use that sense of smell for just kind of locating what's around them and making sure that they're safe. This time of year, you might see some snakes coming out, but um, still a little cold for them. So they will be emerging soon. If you have any other questions or if you'd like to know more about corn snakes, feel free to drop us a comment online on our Facebook page at Kellen's Pond uh, Facebook.